Good afternoon, Spartans. We're going to go ahead and create another gradient mesh object. We're going to use this beautiful red bell pepper. First thing I want you to do is we're going to click on it, make it larger, right click it, choose Save Image As. You're going to go ahead and save that to your folder. Make sure you don't save it just to the desktop because it needs to uh, be with you permanently and you know the desktop won't be a permanent place. Okay, I've already saved mine so I'm just going to cancel that. Go into Adobe Illustrator. I'm going to choose a basic RGB. Put my name, first initial, last name, underscore, and I'm just going to put bell pepper you're going to want to do gradient mesh. 7 inch width, 5 inch height. I'm going to click OK. Alright. Now, what we need here is our layers palette up in uh, on the display here. And we're going to go up to File and we're going to choose Place. Place will bring up the computer folders, find your um, personal network folder. My object, as you know, is on the desktop here. And I'm going to choose it. It's called Red Bell Pepper. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to choose Template. And I'm going to click Place. Now, because it's a template, it's going to be 50% dim. So I'm going to double click the layer and uncheck dim and click OK. I'm going to move this object. Actually, I'm going to unlock it first and then I'm going to move it to the center position. Now I'm going to relock it. OK. All right. The fill and stroke are at its default setting. I'm just going to go ahead and do X slash X. OK. Next step. We're going to go to layer one. And we're going to add a white rectangle. I'm going to approximate this rectangle to be the same height and width. And with its white fill, but now I'm going to go ahead and do Control Y, put it in its outline mode. And I'm going to add a gradient mesh center line, both uh, vertical and horizontal centers. So I'm going to click this center node here. There you go. And I'm going to change the color of our guides. So I'm going to double click the layer. I'm going to choose this bright green and click OK. There, we can see this a lot better. The green contrasts nicely onto the red. Now I'm going to take my white arrow to activate it. Then I'm going to go into the eyedropper. And actually, I'm going to go to my gradient mesh tool. Now I'm going to hold down control, access that white arrow, and I'm going to start forming the box so that it conforms to the shape of my bell pepper here. And so far, so good. Bring this one over here. Bring that up a, a tad. Okay. And just gonna go work back and forth till those curves match nicely. Bring that over. And I'm gonna bring this back down. Now I know I need an extra node here, but right now this is what we're gonna use. And let's see. Oh, I lost my curve. No problem. Okay. And let's see. I'm going to cruise up here. Bring this one down. Stretch that up a little bit. Stretch that over. Okay. So I just have to sort of be patient. And it'll all come around. Okay. I'm going to that up. Bring that up. Okay, it looks good. 
All right, now I'm going to start adding some more gradient mesh lines. So what I'm looking for now are different colors, obviously, because each node we create, each node we add, is going to represent a color. And since we see different colors on the, on the uh, pepper, then it makes sense to add that node in that area. Now, I do need a node right here. When I add a node onto a horizontal line, it creates its own vertical line. So I'm going to click right here, and you see where that is. It's going to go pass right through the middle of that highlight. Okay? So I'm going to actually click directly on the highlight. Maybe move that over a touch. Hold down control to do that. Hold down control. Okay? Now you see we have highlights along that line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in this area right below where it fades off to this solid red. I'm going to click right there. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the opposite side, right about there. And then there's, it gets dark through here, so it makes sense to add one right there because this is the color I'm going to be choosing. But to keep that dark from spilling too far out, I need to fence it in. So I'm going to go ahead and click both on this side and that side. And then this line also will take care of this highlight. So this node is going to be that solid red that will keep this white from spilling over. Okay, I'm going to do some right here. This red's a little bit lighter than this red. Okay, I'm going to do the same right here. Put one right through the center of this dark core shadow. Maybe move that node over a touch. And I accidentally added a layer, uh, an, a line there. I didn't really want that line. So I'm going to go ahead and hold down Control, shape that over a little bit. Um, and you can see that extra node that just got created. So I'm, that's going to magically uh, sit into that little nook there nicely. And I'm going to reshape some of those curves. OK. All right. And let me zoom out here. Okay, now you see how it transitions from this darker red into that solid red. So right through that transition, I'm going to add another line. I'm going to add a line through this highlight here, but also right here where it starts to get dark. Okay, so you need those transitional areas as well. Now, I don't like the shape of this, so I'm going to sort of shape this a little bit more smoothly, get those nice contour curves, okay? All right, I'm going to pause the video slightly, um, just add a couple more lines so that I can save some time on my video. I'll be right back. Okay, so really what I did was I added a couple more lines around this little small highlight. I'm going to add another one right here because this transitions a little bit shorter from left to right than this larger one. Okay, in fact, I might just stretch out, out a little bit here and a little bit there just sort of get that nice shape all right now the coloring part all I'm going to do first is I'm going to select the entire um, actually I was going to select all and then choose that red color uh, I just lost my train of thought sorry but I'm going to just choose this red so if I, did, if I were to go control Y to bring it back into normal mode, you just see that solid red color. Okay? Control Y again. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way around the perimeter. So what I've done here is I've just selected this one single node. And I'm going to aim for that color right next to that node. And you can see it's that darkish red um, shadowy look. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep selecting as I work my way around. Okay, and um, let me see, I think I lost that one. Let me choose that again, choose that one, and I lost it again, and that one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the video again, and um, when I restart it, I will have completed the entire perimeter. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm not quite finished, but I thought I would 
show you this part right here that covers that's being blocked by this green element. Well, we don't want that, so um, I'm actually going to select the reddish color. Makes more sense. I'm going to select this deeper red color, the one that's sort of inside the core here. And I'm going to select that. And then I'm almost done. I think this was the one I started with. Just in case, I'll go ahead and add a couple more. So I wasn't, I'm not really sure where I started. All right. Now, I'm going to go ahead and zoom out, and I'm going to do Control-Y see what we got. Okay, I'm going to deselect. Okay, that looks pretty good. we got the shadowing all the way around, especially through here. That looks pretty good. Okay. Now, there's some things that you're probably going to want to adjust. We'll see if that looks good in the end. Okay, so I've got all the exterior lines. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do the interior lines. So, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. So, I'm just going to start at the bottom row and then work my way up. Okay, and I'll be right back. Okay, I have yet to bring it out of outline mode and into normal mode, so you're going to be first along with me to see the results. Now, I've well, just to remind you, I held down control, I clicked the node, and I sampled the color right next to that node. Okay, it gets a little dicey, a little tricky up in this area here where the points are really close, and I'm not quite sure what it's going to look like. So we're not done, but we're just going to look at the this uh, intermediate phase and uh, you can see what the last node uh, was selected there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do control Y and actually that looks pretty good. Let me just see what I got here. That's not too bad. Um, you know, I'm definitely going to tweak some things but even the edge right here looks pretty good. So, um, I, uh, I like what I have here. What I'm probably going to do is finish this up. Uh, in terms of the video, it's pretty much done. Um, but then when you access my video tutorial, um, you're going to want to see the, the, uh, the, the picture of my completed result. Um, I'll have the stem completed. I'll probably add a couple more lines here. So if you look right here, I'll probably add some more lines um, through the edge here and we get this little light area definitely inside the uh, the bell pepper to show some of the the highlight along the edge here which I didn't really get so much of so I do want to add that okay other than that um, I think it looks pretty good um, again the key is making sure you choose the right nodes and putting them in the right spots, okay? I hope this helps. Please feel free to email me if you have any questions. And uh, good luck.